Okay, in this video, I'm going to be doing a review on this battery tester. You know, your battery is a very important component in your car, especially when it comes to starting your car. But, how do you monitor the health of your battery? How do you test the battery? Do you test it in your car, out of your car? Do you test it when it's cold, when it's hot? So, you don't want to be on the side of the road and find out that your battery is bad. So today, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to test out your battery. Let's get started. Right here, I'm holding this battery tester. It's from a company called Top Don Arty Battery 101. Very simple to use. Very simple to use. You simply take the red lead and you put it onto the positive terminal on your battery, black lead, uh, negative terminal on your battery, and then it automatically comes on. You select your language, you select the range of your battery and it will test your battery, it tests the charging system, it tests the cranky system. It's going to give you information about your battery you didn't even know existed. I've tested it on all three of my vehicles and I actually found that one of my batteries was bad so it's already paid off. Let's show, let me show you just how easy it is to work. Again, you take the positive, put it on the positive, negative on the negative very good gripping as soon as you put it on the LCD screen lights up and you're ready to go the top down charger comes with a quick guide and it gives you explicit detailed instructions on exactly what to do front and on the back it also displays what you want to do right here on the LCD screen put you in a little closer so you can see hit OK I'm selecting English, hit OK. The battery is in the vehicle, hit OK. It's before charge because I haven't started the battery, the car yet. It's a regular flooded. You can change from a AGM flat plate, AGM spiral, gel, EFB or regular flooded, OK. BCI, that's the one I'm going to go with. These are your cranking apps. And now it's testing. Right here, my SOS, my SOH state of health is 22%. My SOC state of charge is 51%. The charger is saying that I need to replace the battery. So I hit OK. Now I'm going to start the engine and do a crank test. Here's my crank test. It says my cranking is low, I need to replace. I hit OK. Now it's doing, now it's telling me to do a test for the charging. And it's charging, it's high, loaded, non loaded, ripple. If you look on your battery, you'll see all the information you need to input. Once the tester is done testing your battery, you're going to get one of five test results. You have a good battery, a good recharge, replace, bad cell replace, or charge retest. Once you're done with testing the state of health and state of charge onto you, on your battery, the next test you move on to is your cranking test. So you simply get in, start your engine the system will automatically detect then you will get the results and it will say normal or not normal or whatever the results are normal or replace then your final test is your charging system this just shows if it's charging correctly loading your test increase revs testing and then it displays your charging information okay these are the tests I'm running today. I'm going to use the battery tester to test the battery when it's cold or before I drive the car. Then I'm going to start the car up, drive it around, let it get nice and warm, and then retest it. I'll show you both results so we'll see just how accurate this is. I am testing it out cold right now, hooking up the red lead, hooking up the negative. As soon as you hook it up, it comes on, 
I'm selecting English. I'm going with in vehicle. This is before charging or before the car is warm. I mean before the battery is warm. I have a regularly flooded battery. I have a BCI. By the way, all this information is on your battery in case you don't know it. 730 amps and it's testing. So, my state of health is 60%. My state of charge is 86%. It's telling me that I need to replace my battery. So then I hit OK. And now it's telling me to start the engine and it's going to check the cranking amps. Okay, that was the cranking amps. Everything is reading really normal. Select OK. Now moving to the charging test. Okay, it's charging normal and here's all the aspects that the um, tester is telling me the state of the battery and that's it we just did all three tests and that was on a cold battery so like I said I'll go and drive it around warm up the battery and test a hot battery now I'm about to do the test with the battery warm English in vehicle after charge arrow up after charge regularly flooded BCI same uh, amps and testing okay state of health 61% state of charge 98% says replace let me start the engine and continue to test. It is testing the battery with the car running. Normal. Okay. Now it's doing the charging test. These are the test results from the battery once it's warm. I don't remember the test results on the other one I had to compare the two but that's how you test a warm battery versus a cold battery here are the results side by side the one on the left this was the test I did before I start the car the one on the right is after I start the car the results are pretty much identical so I would say the tester did its job this little battery tester is an amazing little device it can test cars SUVs, trucks, and marine. Since I got this, I tested all three of my vehicles and I actually had one bad battery. Even though the car was starting, my battery was bad. So I was able to find out that my battery was bad at home versus getting stuck on the side of the road. Pretty good little uh, tester right here. I'm going to leave all the detailed information on how you can get one, the company's name, in the link below. As usual, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. And I always appreciate you watching. You guys have a good one.